tuples are a data type very similar to lists. They are ordered collections of objects. The difference between tuples and lists is that they are immutable. That is, you can't change the contents of a tuple like you can with a list. Because tuples don't need that functionality, they take up less memory than lists and can be indexed faster. If you know a sequence doesn't need to be changed, then make it a tuple instead of a list. To define a tuple, use parentheses instead of square brackets like this. Tuples are ordered, so we can index them. If you try and mutate a tuple, you'll get an error. So it says tuple object does not support item assignment. And that's a direct cause of the fact that tuples aren't mutable. You can't change the contents, so it throws an error. But because of that, tuples can also be useful for raising your attention to code that's trying to change something that shouldn't change. So again, if you know it doesn't need to change, make it a tuple instead of a list. You can actually create tuples without using the parentheses. but it just makes it harder to tell what's going on just by looking at the code, so don't do that. One particularly hard to find bug can be caused by a rogue comma at the end of an assignment like this. So Python interprets this as a tuple with one element, when in reality, I wanted it to be an integer. And it's all because of that lingering comma just there pretty much the smallest bit of text that you could put, so it's just hard to notice. So I think it's best practice whenever you're creating tuples, put the brackets around them or use the tuple constructor so it's very clear by looking at it. On the flip side, if I were to put brackets around just a single element like this, it still comes out as an integer. That's because brackets are usually used to denote the order of mathematical operations. If I did want to create a tuple with just one element, then I do need to include the brackets like that. Or, like I said, you could have it just alone like that. But I think that causes issues and it's not very clear what's going on there. So I'd much rather have the brackets like that. If I want to create a one element tuple, I will make it look like that. Tuples aren't super common, but it's useful to know that you can get some memory and time efficiency gains by using them over lists in situations that make sense. And I'd certainly rather you not be surprised or confused when you see something like this down the line.